This is a uh, Willie. He's a Weimariner. I want to talk about living with one and and then hopefully you'll see if uh, a Weimariner is the right breed for you. They're super affectionate. They like being close to you. Like if I were to not tell him to stay and he was chewing a bone or something like that and I moved away and sat down, he would just come sit next to me and like get right in my like armpit and just like stay there. And if I moved, he would follow me unless I told him to stay. They're all like that. They're like that with like everyone in my family. He's actually great with other dogs. The only thing is they always want to play. Like they're super high energy and, and they just want to like always be doing something. So I've seen dogs that get like freaked out by like how energetic he is. Obviously he has a really thin coat. He doesn't shed a lot, but you will see stuff that he sheds like on like black and like darker stuff. If you have like a black shirt or something like that or black pants and he and they like come next to you, you'll see like little gray hairs. He loves some people immediately and then some people it takes a little bit longer, but overall he's pretty nice to like everybody. If I'm like sitting on the couch or something like that and someone like knocks on the door, he'll start barking in like a defensive way. But as soon as they come in and like he realizes they're fine, um, he'll be fine. He always wants to play. And it's not just like the kind of thing where it's like uh, you can go play fetch with them like in your backyard a little bit. They need like an open field where they can run freely or on a long line and just like sprint around and, and like really let all that energy go. And they need this for like up to like three hours a day. I've been at this field right now for like two hours now. And it's been a mix of him like going in the water, a mix of him running around freely and a mix of fetch. By the time I get home, he's, he's just like sleeps. But if I didn't do this, if I was only here for like an hour and then I went home, did work while he slept, he would just wake up like three, like three hours later and just be like crazy again. I saw this one post and they were like, oh, I kind of want to get one. I, I run marathons and I exercise every day. I think it's the perfect breed for me. It's not really about that. Um, I've seen people that they don't run marathons. They're not athletic and they have no interest in doing any of that and they still are able to give the time to the dog and, and train it. It has nothing to do with how fit you are. It's really about like doing what they need, not what you need to be exercised. I'll be at like a cafe and he'll just be sitting like this and then people see him and they're like, oh, I want that dog. Like he's cute and he just sits there, he's so calm. That's like his number one, the number one compliment he gets is like how calm he is. But you really have to like exercise him and like and train them so that they can be like that. And yeah, sorry. But I've seen other people with Weimaraners that are like, like going around crazy and like tearing stuff up and they make jokes about it. It's funny at first, but then you actually have to realize like why he's doing it and, and make the change. When it comes to like their adaptability to your lifestyle, they're pretty good at it, or at least he is. Like I can, I brought him everywhere. Cafes, I brought him on shoots with friends where he's allowed to come and he just does fine like if he's exercised he'll just like sit and stay like how he is now and just like be calm he's really loyal he's super friendly he needs a lot of mental stimulation like i just heard like a dog like probably echoing from like over half a mile away and you can see he like popped his head up and is looking around now like they're, they're always kind of like like looking around and, and looking for like the next thing that they can do that being said, they do want to please their owners a lot, so they're super trainable. I could probably, in the next like two minutes, teach them a new trick if I wanted to. Like he, they're super food driven and they very much want to please their owners. So you can teach them something with positive reinforcement and and food, and they'll learn it pretty fast just because they they are very smart and they want to please you. They're prone to separation anxiety. This can be prevented early on by doing like desensitization training where you like leave the room and come back. It can be like not letting them follow you around the house for everything. In my case, I did this stuff when he was a puppy and it still didn't even help. He used to like break out of his crate and, and like hurt himself. Now he's gotten to a point where he won't like scream or anything in the crate, but he'll still be awake the whole time. Um, and he'll just be staring at the door. I have some advice on that and that's attacking it early on and just being super repetitive with it and that'll make it a lot better. I would try everything before just giving them like anxiety meds 
but it might come to a point where you need that too. It's the perfect dog. They're super loyal, they're super friendly, they're super affectionate, but they do need a lot of exercise, a lot of mental stimulation, and then they'll be the best dog you've ever had and they'll, they'll be your best friend forever. Hopefully this helped you decide if you wanted one. Uh, my name is Xander, this is Willie the Wine, and thanks for watching.